Primetime's broken open the biggest scandal since Watergate. Bigger than Benghazi, bigger than Obamagate even, bigger than the Fauci funding the Chinese lab that killed thousands of Americans. Nope, we didn't catch Hillary killing anybody. Hunter's still a free man, and we were working on finding Minnie's backpack. But we're on to something big here, and it affects all of you. It's the food pyramid, which turns out is a pyramid scheme. Big food has been buying off scientists to study some of their unhealthiest products and recommend them as a crucial part of a healthy diet. So now we have a brand new food pyramid where frosted mini wheats are healthier than grilled chicken. I swear. Primetime decided to dig into this little study today, and it was done by researchers at Tufts University, a safety school, and paid for by Fauci's cabal over at the NIH, the so-called National Institute of Health, NIH. It claims that foods we thought were healthy, like meat and eggs, are terrible for us and recommends replacing them with junk food manufactured by America's largest food conglomerates. See where this is going? According to these new recommendations, we should moderate our consumption of eggs, cheese, ground beef, and rice and replace them with foods that are more profitable for the food industry, like frosted mini wheats, cocoa puffs, chocolate covered almonds, and peppermint lattes. What about clean, healthy proteins like chicken, beef, and shrimp? Well, they want us to cut back on that. Cocoa puffs are just as healthier than lean protein. Now the government won't tell you this, but most of these junky foods they're pushing also just happen to qualify for food stamps. And you can't buy healthy food with food stamps, but you can buy as many chocolate-covered almonds as you want. And so the guys over at General Mills and Kellogg's hear this, and they know their money for studies at Tufts and grants to Dr. Fauci have paid off. So did they put these scientists up to it? And what about the NIH? Did they sign off on this? Did Fauci? They won't comment. Tufts won't comment. NIH won't comment. Rich companies are paying for fake science so they can get richer and you can get fatter and the government is on it. And it's working nearly everywhere. Every school, hospital, prison cafeteria, they all get the same stuff and the same guidance. And it's not going to end here. Soon, we're all going to be eating frosted mini wheats for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What could go wrong? Nina Techaltz is a science journalist and author of The Big Fat Surprise. Are you shocked by this? Yes. I, I mean, I think anybody can recognize that frosted mini wheats and chocolate covered almonds are not healthy. And the fact that this new food pyramid, as you call it, um, you know, there were more than 70 cereals named by brand from Kellogg's General Mills Post. I mean, really tells you that that is you know, a sign of an industry fueled study. Um, but, you know, it's not just that particular study on a study that I co-authored where we looked at the conflicts of interest on the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee, the experts that review the science for our nation's top nutrition policy. We found that 95 percent of that the committee had a tie with the food or pharmaceutical industry. And over half of those members had more than 30 such ties. One member had 152 ties. And the most common ties were with General Mills and Kellogg's. Again, you see those names again. So these big food conglomerates are stacking the deck inside the government. And they're paying for grants to study these unhealthy foods that then they say are healthy. And then they get recommended. And that's how these people make money. I think, you know, one indication of this is why do in our dietary guidelines do they still recommend six servings of grains every day including <laughs> three servings of refined grains what is the argument behind keeping refined grains as recommended every day plus 10 percent of our calories is sugar why do we still have a recommendation like that you have to wonder about some of the intentions and motivations and interests that have gone into our guidelines so we're told that sugar and processed foods are healthy and everybody gets rich, and we have to buy bigger size pants. And meanwhile, our kids, you know, they're at lunch. They're getting orange juice for breakfast. These are all meals, school meals that are, you know, that are driven by the dietary guideline policy. Orange juice for breakfast, which is like liquid sugar, followed by Cheetos, Doritos, Fritos, and Munchies, PepsiCo products for lunch. I mean, we are setting up our children for failure. I know a guy. I'm not going to say who he is, but he works in the juice industry. And he said there's no juice in that juice. He even said, you know, when you get the pulp, it says with pulp. That's not pulp. It's something else.
We got to go. We could talk all hour about this. We got to go. This is better than lean protein. That's the government. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.